Hi everyone and welcome back to my wine diary, the channel where everything is related to wine. On today's agenda are five tools that in my opinion are absolute must-haves in your house if you consider yourself a wine lover. So before we jump into that, I want you to consider subscribing to this channel. It's absolutely free. The subscribe button is right down below there as well as the little bell that will send you notifications when I do my new videos. It's absolutely free to subscribe. You're helping me out. I'm helping you out with some free information and fun stuff. So let's help each other out. So the topic of five must-have wine gadgets. It's very, very interesting to me. I love everything wine related. So when I'm in a store and I see a lot of devices or a lot of gadgets related to wine, I always get some googly eyes and I really want to explore and get some new things that I still don't have in the house. Now, it was a bit of a hard task for me to narrow it down to only five just because I have so many wine gadgets around the house lying uh, around in different uh, drawers and shelves. So. The five that I'm going to be showing you today are truly the must-haves. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first gadget that I think is an absolute must-have in your house is this little guy. This is a seal cutter. So when our wines come with a cork instead of a screw top, they always, or for the most part, covered with a seal that needs to be cut. Now, what we can do here, and I have a wine to demonstrate, of course, we can rip it completely apart with a knife or a corkscrew, or we can do it the proper way, and that is to cut the very, very edge of the uh, top of the bottle to expose that cork so we can take it out with a corkscrew. So the official way to do that is technically with a little knife that comes in a corkscrew, and I'll show you that one in a second. It's a little bit tricky. You have to go around the bottle and cut it, really not that difficult but takes a little time this guy right here is a huge time saver so again as promised i will show you close-ups but i also wanted to show you how easy it is to open it i really love the look of this gadget here the seal cutter is so sleek and shiny and here are the wheels that do the magic for us cutting the seal of the bottle the wheels are pretty sharp i've got to say i wouldn't be messing with them too much but pretty safe device. So because of those tiny sharp wheels that this little um, seal cutter has, we can go ahead and hug the wine bottle just like this. And then all we do is twist it, not even 180, and voila, we have our cork now exposed for us to open the bottle. So this little guy here can be found on Amazon for about 10-ish dollars, 10 dollars and change. Again, they come in different varieties and different shapes and colors. I like this one. Just scroll through Amazon and see which one fits you better. Sometimes they have packs of two, which is also very convenient in case you lose one or if you want to have it in uh, different types or different places of the house. So this one is 10 plus dollars. I will link the uh, Amazon link to buy this one down below as well as everything else that I show you in this video today. Our gadget number two today is the most must have item out there. And that is of course your corkscrew. So corkscrews come in so many different shapes and forms. There are so many varieties on the market right now. It really comes down to how much time you want to spend opening the wine, how easy it is for you to use one versus the other. So for me, the absolute ultimate corkscrew is this one. I really, really enjoy the simplicity of it. So this is how this guy looks like, and I will demonstrate the close-up in just a moment as well. But this to me is the simplest corkscrew out there on the market right now, and I have probably seven or maybe seven or ten different corkscrews around the house. I have some portable ones that are easier to travel with. I have the one with two uh, arms to help you elevate that cork and get it out of the bottle. So I have that one too. It's a little bulkier, but I quite enjoy it. The one that I still don't have is the automatic one. I have never tried it, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to invest considering that I always reach for this one. And here is the close view of this bad boy. So this corkscrew type is called sommelier, and it's called that way for a reason. So this is what sommeliers prefer to use at the table side if they're opening a bottle for you, or just doing their wine tastings in general. The first leg and the second leg to use on the bottleneck, as I showed, very compact. As you can see, it fits right in my hand. 
And then the other thing I wanted to show you is that knife, the little knife right here that sommeliers actually use for um, cutting the seal of the bottle. Pretty sharp, pretty sharp knife. So of course I have to demonstrate the simplicity of this little gadget here for you and show you how really um, super easy it is to use it. So the first thing we do, and I will put my bottle down, this is how I usually try to do it, however you can hold it too. So first you press really firmly and you start screwing it in. Once you feel like it stands on its own in the cork, you can just screw it in a little bit more, so keep doing that. Up until, this is my rule of thumb, up until you have about two circles or two twirls left on the screw itself. So this is what I bring the little lever guy to hug the bottle. So we do it like this. We do the first initial pull, which gets out just a little bit of that cork. And then it's time for the second leg to jump onto our bottle neck. So we do this little move first, and this one second, and then voila, we have the cork out. All you need to do is get it out with a little movement of your hand. So again, I was explaining it and went a little slower with it, but it really takes only 30 or less seconds uh, to open the bottle with this little gadget. So I prefer this corkscrew. Again, it's very inexpensive. You can find this particular type, not this exact one, but this type of a corkscrew on Amazon as well. The link will be down below. Uh, they go for about $5 or so, so very, very inexpensive. So the next gadget that I have on my list today is another absolute must have for me. And I'm showing you just one of the varieties or one of the types that I have uh, within my house at least. And this is an aerator. So the reason why I decided to show you this particular tool or this particular type of an aerator is because it's my absolute favorite one because it's a multitasker. So this one is called Haley's Cork. And the reason why it's called that way is because it doesn't only serve you as an aerator. So I'll demonstrate. It goes inside of our bottle immediately once we open it. So if you want to let your wine breathe, feel free to do that. So again, this is uh, probably second to my favorite ways of aerating the wine, and that is uh, a decanter. So if you don't have a decanter or just want a faster way of aerating your wine, this guy is absolutely super. So you put it in go all the way in. And as you can see, A, it serves as an aerator, of course, but then with this little cap here, if you haven't finished your wine, doesn't happen that often, right? But when it does and you haven't finished your wine completely, you just close it in and it serves you as a stopper too. So that's why I really, really enjoy it, just because it's a multitasker, like I said. So once this little guy is in, you go ahead and pour some inside of your glass. And you can see how it immediately creates those bubbles, so it aerates your wine very, very nicely for you. Haley's Corker. What a simple yet elegant device we have here. I really enjoy the look of it. It's pretty modern looking. So on the bottom of it, we have that tube that actually gets the wine out of the bottle. And on the inside, we have the concoction with holes that allows oxygen to come through into our wine glass itself. It's a pretty compact device. As you can see here, it will fit right into my palm. This Haley's Corker is very, very famous and you can find it in many different wine shops. You can find it on Amazon as well. I will link it down below. It runs for about $11 and change. Again, sometimes they come in packs of two, which I think are great ideas to have little gadgets like this around the house in packs of two in case you lose one or one breaks, which I, I don't think they will break just because how sturdy they're made, but just in case. Not a bad thing to have too. So $11 for something that's technically not only an aerator, it's also um, a stopper for you. So good investment. So my item number four on today's list of absolute must-have wine gadgets is this guy. Drum roll, please. Ta-ta! It's a chilling bucket. I really enjoy the simplicity of this one. Again, I got it from Amazon um, for probably $15 or $16. I'll have the link down below. What I like about this one is that you can actually see the wine inside of it. So 
fill it up with ice however uh, high you want so you can go a little higher with it this amount is usually enough for me and if it's a hot day if I'm having some wine outside on the balcony for instance I would even sometimes get a cube and put it in my glass as well but this is why I like it it's really I just spilled some wine now that we're situated after some wine spillage here we go this is what I was telling you earlier. This is why I like this wine quite a lot is because you can actually see the bottle inside of it. So it's very, very photogenic in a sense that you can take some really cool photos with it. Really not much to say here. What you see is what you get. And it's just a very sturdy plastic bucket. Nice handles to it, which I think is a very nice touch. Pretty lightweight. I personally use it every day, so for me it's a must-have. I'm pretty sure that there are very many different types of these chilling buckets on the market right now. Um, maybe something even a little smarter in a sense where it doesn't require ice cubes, where it's got some chilling pads inside and you just stick it in a freezer for five minutes. I'm sure there are some of those too and I may be getting those in the future, but for now this is super cool. You know, it's beautiful, it serves its purpose and it's relatively inexpensive too. So to me, especially in the summer, absolute must-have. So we are now at the end of the list and we are on my number five absolute must-have wine gadgets. And the number five for today is this little tool. So this cool looking guy is a champagne or sparkling wine stopper. This is something that you put on your bottle to preserve the bubbles <laughs> so they don't go away if you don't finish the bottle. You can put it in a fridge, you can leave it on a table, but this will definitely preserve that carbonation in your sparkling wine. This gadget here is really one of those that you don't know you're missing out on until you actually get it. Can you live without it? Yes, you can, but why not to make your life much more simple and just use it? So for me, it's a definite must have nowadays. Very compact too. As I've mentioned before, I was a little skeptical about it in the beginning. I don't drink too much of sparkling wine or champagnes, but every once in a while when I do, because I don't truly, truly enjoy it and drink it all the time, most of the times I don't finish the bottle. So this thing was a must have for me. Before that, I had a very eloquent way of stopping my my champagne or my sparkling wine. I would literally roll some tissue paper well, I would roll some napkin and I would put it in the bottleneck very, very tight so no, no carbonation escapes. So this has really been um, quite a life changer for me, I've got to say. It holds the bottle and carbonation in it very well. So even if you leave it in for uh, a week instead of just a few hours or a few days, it still does the job. Your sparkling wine stays as carbonated as it was when you were drinking it. So it's a bit of a concoction uh, to put it in. So you need to apply some force to, to get it on the bottleneck of champagne or sparkling wine. And then when you open it, be prepared for a little pop just because there's so much carbonation already building up in the bottle. So when you take it off, expect a little pop. It's not going to fly off somewhere to the wall or to the ceiling, but you will get a little push from the carbonation that it's been holding all along. And this is it. Those were my five must-have wine gadgets that I think every wine lover should have in their house. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Also leave me a comment down below saying which one of those gadgets you already have or think about getting. If you have any questions about using um, any one of them, anything I can help with, please let me know in the comments down below and I will help you out. As I said, I will also link every single gadget that I mentioned today in the, in the description box down below. So you can just click on it and it will take you right to Amazon to purchase it. So thank you all very much for watching and until next time, cheers.